Good afternoon. It's nice to be back here in San Sebastian. I've been here many times. It's always enjoyment to see things developing here. This is a special occasion on one hand because we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the IPC. Pedro, your child, one of your child, children, yes. And um, also to participate in this uh, very special meeting, which has a very special title, Passion for Knowledge, two words of great importance. Scientists have to be passionate, rationally passionate, but nevertheless passionate. So I would like to sort of present you chemistry, an area which often is considered as not interesting. People always tell me, I never understood chemistry. I never liked chemistry. So let me show you that, after all, you should like chemistry. And uh, I put it in a very broad context, which, if I give the beginning of my title, is usually very attractive. From matter to life. What a title. <laughs> Everybody comes to see that, I guess. You can make movies, you can make lots of things. And then you come chemistry. Well, really, chemistry? Yes, chemistry. So let's see where we start. We had magnificent lectures yesterday on materials, on biology, and the progress we can foresee just now on the intimate world of quantum physics. We're now going to step up a little bit. What goes on underneath is, of course, very important. But we take a level of somewhat higher complexity where the processes which go on concern us very directly. And we start here. Long time ago, 13.7 billion years, as cosmologists tell us. The beginning, as we heard also this morning when we were discussing with Frank Bilcek, after the Big Bang, was so hot, no chemistry. Physics. Physics is a rule. There's no chemistry. It's much too hot for any chemistry to occur. But the universe cools down. Particles form. Particles get together. They make atoms. And then atoms get together, and chemistry starts around here. <laughs> 